welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I wanna thank you for joining me on this shave. For this shave, background music, I got Vader. Vader from Poland, and I'm playing Litany because I am wearing the Litany album t-shirt. And uh, yeah, this, this probably is my favorite album from, album from Vader. For the razor, I'm gonna be using Max Brecker, my Max Brecker Blue Power Mother of Pearl inlays with file work, upper gems, monkey tail with file work, and uh, this is a 10 eighths, half hollow, half hollow, and it's the classic Spanish, and this is, was finished on a JNAT by my buddy Sean. Um, for the brush, I'm gonna be using my Smiles for Miles, little purple banger right here, gold flakes, purple, green, um, violet, same thing as purple, right? With a purple tip synthetic knot. Because you know, it just goes well with this soap. And this is Flowers in the Dark from Dr. John's. And let me tell you, this, this is a banger. This is a banger. Here it is, it's all whipped up right there in my Kaiwen Workshop Bowl, the Dark Nebula, large. I just mentioned it now because somebody asked me what size of bowl I had before, so becoming a habit now. All right, so let's get right into the soap. Absolute banger, absolute banger in my book. Man, all right, so I give this a scent strength of, I give this about a seven. Seven, it's not overpowering, but it is nicely scented. Thumbs up, all right? Um, so let's go, uh, actually, I'll tell you how I got this soap. I got this soap when I went to the West Coast Shave Meetup in Huntington Beach, and uh, they had the paid forward table, and somebody had this here. They had it there, so it, it was used. That's my what I scooped out. Um, and I was excited to try this soap because, um, you know, I've heard this was a really good soap from, you know, a couple of my online, online buddies, um, Mr. Azulak on Instagram, I believe was one of them, who told me, you know, I need to try this soap, I need to try it. And I finally got to try it and I'm glad. Well, I finally got to smell it, I'm about to try it. Okay, so let's go into the scent notes of this. The scent is lavender with a soothing undertone that is somewhat familiar yet unnatural. After the lavender fades, all the remains of something resembling coffin wood and ozone, a disturbingly pleasant combination. So hearing coffin wood and actually ozone, I do like as a scent. It's, it's also an Egyptus from um, Hub City Soap Company, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, man. Um, and, but that is an absolute banger and it's kind of ozone's in it. Ozone, it's just this unique smell. I have to use ozone machines at work sometimes. So I know what oh, the smell of ozone smells like. It's just a weird smell. I can't describe it, but when it goes into soap, so far what I'm finding out is that it works. It works in my book, right? So, um, scent notes sound awesome. Um, I've always kind of, you know, had my eye on this, but I didn't, you would think, artwork and you, you know skull a lot of people think um this would be mine my type of taste i'm looking at it you know what it, it is it is pretty cool it is pretty cool for some reason i thought it was like a sugar skull i'm into skulls i love that dark aspect of things but once it gets into the sugar skulls and the colorful skulls that go behind it that's where it loses me it loses I, I, once the skull gets getting colorful that's when it goes opposite of my taste I want my skulls dark, horror, bloody, just evil looking, and that's what I like, right? So the, what I don't like about Dr. John's, and it's another thing that probably kept me away from actually buying this is, now that I remember, I'm gonna mention what I don't like about it. I don't like the tins. I don't like the tins. They dent, they get slippery when wet. Um, yeah, just my personal preference, I don't like tins. Um, also, what I don't like about Dr. John's is that the soap, as you can see, it bounces around, it come out, there's a lot of play, and that is absolutely annoying to me. Um, so that's what keeps me from trying and buying other Dr. John soaps. I have used Runaway before, and um, that's the only other Dr. John soap I've used, and that scent wasn't for me, but 
the fact of the tin and that banging around, that really, really just annoys me. It really stops me from buying and trying other, um, other soaps from them. But the scent on this, get right back into it. Absolute banger, absolute banger, my man. All right, let's get into the shave. Five minutes in, a lot of time talking. I believe it's a vegan, but Dr. all Dr. John's is vegan too. So, um, very thirsty. The texture of that soap is like this really like stale cheese as well, which made it kind of, it made it hard to scoop out as well. Um, so it's just like the soap itself is kind of just, there's a lot of annoying, <laughs> annoying things about that soap for me yeah sorry dr john but uh this scent you killed it so far um it's been a long time since i used dr john's like the last time i used that wild runaway soap um i don't even have it anymore but um last time i used it um in the very early beginnings of my wet shaving journey so within the first like month or two so it's been about a year and a half probably i actually won that from lather hog in a giveaway in the very beginning um so you know yeah <laughs> right so here we go first pass um getting reintroduced to dr john's cheers and i did take my time shopping this today Sometimes my rushes, my rushes, my sheaves are rushed. And um, I'm trying to remember, remind myself to slow down, enjoy it. It's 10.40 at night, so kids sleep in. This is about the time I eat my normal time for shaving now. It's late at night. Once my kids are sleeping. Um, you know, um, so you just wanted to slow down and enjoy the shave. I gotta remind myself that. So you're probably gonna hear me say it often because if I don't say it out loud, I will forget. A lot of times my shaves are rushed too, just for the time sake of these videos, which, um, shouldn't matter. I gotta remind myself that. Uh, personal, today I, uh, decorated my Christmas tree with my daughters. So that was fun. Our little tradition is we always just play Christmas music and decorate it. Um, the first time my three-year-old got to be a part of it. So that was pretty cool, you know. Um, she makes it more difficult than anything, but you know, she's part of the family. She's definitely gonna, you know, be, um, be a part of it. Uh, so she did kind of balance them on. She was taking them off, you know, but it is what it is. She's a kid, I'll let her, you know, let her. It is what it is. Uh, so that was cool, you know. You guys follow me on Instagram. You guys saw that posted, made my videos and all that, you know. Um, so that was, that was cool. Um, me and my oldest, she's excited. We're actually going to Disneyland tomorrow. Going to Disneyland, California Adventures. She's missing school. Daddy's taking her to Disneyland. We actually used to have Disney passes. We had passes from, from, from when she was one up until about six. Um, so six or seven. So it's been a couple of years um, since we had them once my youngest was born it just wasn't possible to go anymore um so I, you know there was no point in me having the annual passes 
but um, I have a good friend who I grew up with and uh, you know, he hooked me up with some tickets. So uh, taking the daughter tomorrow, the oldest, the, the, my youngest, it's just, it's not possible to take her to places like that yet. She, there's no way she will stand in line and wait. She's gonna run off and it, it's just gonna make me chase her around the park. Um, just not, not an environment for her right now. But I get to, we get to have a daddy-daughter day with my oldest. Um, park opens at eight, so we're waking up at six. Waking up at six and um, getting there, leaving here about seven, hopefully getting there about 7.30 and uh, park opens at eight and just going from eight o'clock to as long as she burns out. If she doesn't burn out, then we're gonna stay till about eight. Even though Disneyland is open at midnight, she is missing school, but she has to go to school the next day. Got zits right there. I felt a little sting when I went down. So just checking to see if it's drawing blood. Um, it's really excited. Really, really excited, man. I absolutely love Disneyland. Me and my daughter used to go all the time, for sure. A couple times a week, for sure, every Friday. Um, so just looking forward to that again. I did realize earlier that uh, midday, like evening time, oh man, what am I gonna do? I have a puppy, I forgot. It needs walks, I'm not, I can't do all day things, you know? Um, so we're gonna find out tomorrow. That on my mind is, also worrying me because uh worried about is he gonna destroy the house he gets i've had him for a few weeks now in the first week or so week or two he did get um separation anxiety and he began chewing the wall and baseboards um with if i left him alone too long um I, so that to, to solve that I started, you know, whether I'm leaving music on for him or the TV, just so there's noise, you know? So I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow as well. Uh, only thing is, you know, uh, all the streaming services, you have to like, after so, so many episodes or, or time on it, it asks you, are you still watching? And you gotta click a button. If not, it stops playing. So uh, he is, he, not only do I take him on walks, I'm trying to get him to be fully depend, fully um, just using the restroom outside, you know, when we go on walks. But he does have puppy pads here. Um, sometimes he turns his puppy pad into a toy and he just tears it all up, you know. There's all these things that are happening that I'm trying to stop him from doing and figuring out why he's doing it and what I could do to what could I could do to stop that behavior you know um, so tomorrow I'm just gonna take multiple puppy pads um, tape them down to the floor so he can't tear them up hopefully that helps I went and bought like crazy like cowhide bones um, so he has like a lot, you know, these he could spend a lot of time chewing on them so he's not bored. So he doesn't chew up my house, my furniture, 
my things, you know? <laughs> Please don't. Um, yeah. Fool's pass, there you go. So those are things on my mind and that's what's running through my mind a lot right now. So that's what you guys heard. There's parts of my lip where I don't fully get when I do the full pass or side pass. And so you can see there's little lines left behind. So what I'm gonna do, what I like, to, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm gonna use my tongue to push out that lip. So, I guess just explained a little bit more in detail on the little thing I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let me rinse off and do some touch up. All right, so I'm back. I just rinsed off. <sighs> you guys are welcome. You guys are invited for my cleanup pass. good job on my upper lip. I didn't miss any spots. I'm just going to touch up right there. Super high. the little hairs that are growing back from the goatee so I don't need that much longer for my touch-ups it's super thin almost see yeah. see-through not almost just so I can see it. I can see those hairs exactly Chasing BBS, chasing BBS, trying to get these little, the more you stretch out your skin, start looking really close, you can begin to see little peppers. And then uh, so I saw those and started trimming them away. But I'm gonna stop, cause <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, there's no need for all that. <laughs> all right, so my shave is all done, all done. Great shave, had a great shave with this stuff. Um, Lather is good with Dr. John, man. I like it. It's been a long time. I totally forgot how how it would be. It was super slick. It, it, it's uh, reminds me a lot of CK6. Very thirsty, and just the the um, structure of the lather reminds me of the CK6. Um, slick, great stuff. The only thing I hate, I hate the texture of the soap. I hate how dry it is. 
Um, you can't, normally I like to, when I scoop, I'll show you. Where's, right here. Okay, so, and where's Dr. Jones? So when I scoop, normally I just scoop a layer and I'll scoop a layer, I don't even know if you can tell, I'll scoop, like this one I scooped a layer just on the outside, okay? So I'll do a little scraping of just the top, just the top layer to put that in my soap. That's, that's one right there, let me grab another one. We'll grab one of these, it's probably easier to see. Um, well, here's one, here's signature, you see a little bit, so I just scraped a little bit right there. Normally I like to scrape just the top layer. As you can see, as you can see, one more, one more, because sometimes they go on the end, sometimes I, I try to make it all, I'll scrape away to make it eventually even again. Um, see? Okay, so here's another one. See, I, I scraped away just from the edge. No, that's how I like to, that's how I like to scoop, okay? With this, I could not begin to scrape away any, because it was just flaking off into little dry flakes, which just reminded me of like, really dried stale cheese, like a Parmesan flaky cheese or, you know, another type of cheese that's just really dry and flaky uh, and hard. That's what that reminds me of. So I don't like the texture of the soap. I don't like how it bounces around. Um, but if I can get over that and not let it bug me so much, it shaves great, creates a great lather. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'll be using my Zingarian scented stuff. No need for you guys to see. I'm out of here. Take care.